Hey guys, it's Pamela. This is my technically third try of this today. So I'm going to try to talk through this when I'm kind of worn out. Um, I've got some Arteza Gold. I'm doing a swipe. I've got some Arteza Gold with a little bit of Primary Elements Aztec Gold. Yeah. And um, I've got more of the Arteza than I do of the Aztec Gold. So I had to add some to it since this is my several tries today. I've got Yellowish Green from Amsterdam. I've got Blue Violet from Joe Sonia. I've got Greenish Blue from Amsterdam and a Brilliant Green from Joe Sonia. So, if I get a little quiet, it's because I don't I haven't done enough of these, I'm not real comfortable. That's my excuse. <laughs> okay. That's probably too much gold, but we're going to go with it. That's probably too much gold, but I'm going to go with it. And here's the blue violet. And here's the yellowish green. I'm stop. I thin these out. But I think my problem is I'm just not getting enough. Yeah, I think they're just too thick. But, you know what, I don't know. This is like my fourth one, like I said, so let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of stuff to say. Okay. This is Artist Loft. They're just their level one paint. It's not the flow or anything. I did put a drop of wood conditioner in it and water. That seems to be okay for this paint. I can't get that wood conditioner work with the Lucas, but there we go. Alright, I hope that was thin enough. And I've got a debit card here. Okay, that was better. Oops. May have to go in with my palette knife and fix the errors. Errors. Whatever. <laughs> All my blue gets wiped away. Oh, 
this is painful. I just need to pile up the paint more in the center. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Palette knife, check. You know, there's not that much stuff on the table. I can't find it. <laughs> oh, there it is. I'm gonna put just a little heat. I think it's enough to really dry out the paint, so it should be okay. Oh, I know what I want to say. Um, I'll speed this up in a second. Uh, a couple of people made a uh, remark about my last video because I mentioned Julie Cuts. I didn't mean anything by it. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's anything I could say that could affect her, so... And she knows that I make <clears throat> good comments on her channel, nice comments, and she gives me little hearts. So, I ain't got a problem with Julie. I started my channel because of Julie, doing the flip cups. If you flip back through my videos, you can see I did a couple of flip cups. So, yeah, I don't have a problem with Julie. I'm just throwing it out there that she's trying to blooms. Hopefully I'll learn something new from her. So that's that. Oh, I don't know why. Well, I know why, because I use a gloss base. This pillow is a gloss base mixed with gesso. Uh, it's about 10% gesso and the rest is gloss base of PPG and um, Glidden Premium. I'll put those below. So I've been working with that. I'm gonna have to like just stick with something instead of moving around or buying different paints and trying to figure it out. Just stick with it <laughs> and make it work. Because I think, you know, we have the general concept here. That's what I was trying to figure out in the very beginning <clears throat> when I started making Bloom videos. But I think I'm past that. I know what's going on, I just need to, um perfect it, if that's possible. Do any of us perfect it? I don't know. Well, Shelly does, but... <laughs> oh, I better swipe this. No, I'm gonna leave it. It's gonna go off anyway. Um, also, you know how you do with, um, with resin when you're trying to get the bubbles out of it? Now, I'm not a resin artist. I haven't really done anything with resin. I'm lucky if I resin my paintings. I've got some art stone coat, and if I really like something, I'll resin it, but that's my only experience with resin so far. But I've seen the stone coat guy chop it to get the bubbles out, and that works with this. I'm still going to have a little bit of white bubbles here and there, and that's funny that they come up so much under that black, but 
Well, I, that black is so thin, that's why. So that helps quite a bit. I don't think I'll have as many bubbles as I did in my last piece. And this is it. Dried. He's dry. No cracking or crazing because I've, oh, I'm putting gack in the pillow too. So that's why. But see all the dots? So I think as it dried, maybe it got worse. It didn't seem that bad in the picture. Well, I'm going to fast forward because I want this to pop up a little bit more and I hope it doesn't dry too much. Okay, the sun's at its strongest today, and I have a uh, semi-opaque shower curtain over the window <laughs> and a couple of other lights on, so I hope that we don't... I'll try to tilt so you don't get too much glare. Okay, well this is moving better than it did earlier today. I don't know if that helps. Well, my luscious paint just went off one edge. Reminding me of a peacock. So far. Okay, I think I'm gonna just go to the opposite edge. No, don't do that. I was going to try to fix that, but it's too late. Mm. Less glare, sorry. Go, baby, go. I really enjoy doing these swipes though. It's just better than putting my face down in the paint and blowing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I think it's old. I mean, it's worth it for the outcome, but. Oh, that blue is just gorgeous. That, which blue is that? The blue violet from Josunia. It's just gorgeous. I 
don't think you can stretchy stretch this too much. I need to get the line kind of there. Okay. Now all my pretty greens going off this side. Look at that huge blue cell up in the top. Or, well, it would be your bottom left. Or my top left. <laughs> I didn't think the gold would. <laughs> I don't know about this, guys. It, it looks like rock. And then again, it kind of reminds me of a big intestine running through everything, too. No. <laughs> okay, and my top, let's see, my top left, no, your top left. Granted, things aren't switched around in video. I don't think they are. Um, well, you'll see it when I pan in. This gold with the pearl X really did some funky, or funny, or nice things. What am I saying? Funky and nice. I don't even know where the weight of my paint is at this point because I'm running my mouth. Okay. Probably could have put a tiny bit more paint on the canvas. No, I don't know why I'm going this way. I just need to keep going this way because. Mm. Oh, there's not enough paint to do too much else. Hope I'm in frame. Yeah, my paint's thick, but I'm loving it. Ta-da! Ding! I like it, guys. Wow, so much better than the last one, don't you think? Okay, I'm gonna do a pan shot. Take the mojo. Pretty awesome, guys. I'm liking the black cell activator topper 